Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a beautiful new section in your Python programming series. We're going to begin talking about graphical user interfaces in Python. So this is how to make a standalone window similar to how Visual Studio Code here has its own window where you can X out of it, minimize it. This is a step beyond just the terminal. Now, the tool we're gonna to be using is this right here, which brings up an interesting question that I never even thought of until I actually had to teach it on a video, which is how in the world do you even pronounce this word? So what better way to learn than see how everyone else does it on YouTube, right? So I go up on YouTube, play a couple videos. Kinter or T Kinter. So this guy says T Kinter. T K Inter. T K Inter. This guy says TK enter function. Using Python tkinter library. All right, we got tkinter library. All right, but I think the actual proper way to pronounce this is TK enter because the enter is short for interface. So we're gonna go with TK enter, but feel free to fight about it in the comments. TK enter is nice because it's built in. We don't have to download or install anything. When you download Python, you get this automatically. So I'm gonna give you the absolute basic code just to get essentially a hello world application started. And the very first thing is you say import TK enter, and then using this module, you can say TK enter dot TK. And this starts it. So invoke that and we can get a reference to this and you can call it whatever you want. We will just call it TK lowercase t and a lowercase k. Then to start your application, all you have to do is say tk dot main loop. All right, let's run this, see what happens. All right, so it pops up this little window on my super organized desktop. Don't judge me, okay? So what I'm gonna do is set up my windows so it's nice and easy to work in the editor and also see this window. All right, so here we have our code editor and then here we have our little window. There's probably a really good editor out there that you can do these like in one, but this will do for now because we're only going to cover TK enter for the next few videos to build a simple application and we're actually going to use a, a database to create an application to work with books. So if you've been following along, we created an application in the terminal to work with book objects and store those and retrieve those from a database. If you're jumping in, that's fine, but we're going to expand on that and basically build out a user interface to work with the same database. So it should be pretty cool. This is getting to the point where you can basically consider your applications as two pieces, a front end and a back end. So the back end includes the database, the SDK, any of the processing. Then the front end is the interface. We could have a graphical user interface like so, or we could have a command line interface in the terminal, which is what we've been doing up to this point. We could also even have a website. And eventually you could build out that backend enough such that you're just working with an API over HTTP. And that is what a common way of designing applications is today. And then you can make things a little bit more fancy by sprinkling in some microservices, or you could do a, a serverless API, whatever you want to do, but this is just the start of that mindset. So we're separating the front end from the back end, and right now we're building a front end, which is this beautiful graphical user interface. Now in the next videos, we're not going to focus on the looks of this application, so it's probably going to get a little horrendous, but the reason is because, not really because we don't have time, but because my art skills are like, from a scale of zero to 99, like a point two. So we're just gonna focus on the functionality, which is my specialty, and we'll get something going, and then you can go back and learn how to design graphical user interfaces with TK Enter, and then add all that juicy flavoring in later. So let's just stop blabbering, because I think I'm going on a rant here. And there's one other thing you can do, is you can actually change the title here just to customize it. So you could say tk.title, and pass in something creative like hello world. And when you run this, you'll notice nothing happens. This doesn't update and it's actually stuck on the previous execution. So when you X out of this, it's going to run that new execution and you can see it says hello world right there. This main loop is going to continue to execute until you X out of that. So for example, if we do something like this where we say done, watch this, 
So we close out of this, run the application. So the application is open, but there's nothing in the terminal that says done. As soon as we exit the application, then done appears in the terminal. So this pauses all of the execution and you can just work with the GUI at that point. Anything after comes once you X out of that window. Now up next, we're gonna build a guessing game application. So it's going to pick a random number and you gotta guess that number. And if you're too low, it'll tell you you're too low. And if you're too high, it'll tell you you're too high. So this just gets some practice with different programming concepts. And if you want a challenge, why don't you try to implement something like that in the terminal? Or if you're feeling ballsy, then go ahead and try to figure out how to do that in TK Enter. Although there are a lot of new concepts for, for that. So if you're brand new to this, I'd recommend you just think about how to do this in the terminal and then switching over to a GUI is gonna be a piece of cake. So stay tuned for the next video so I can teach you the main things that are gonna differentiate this application from a terminal application. So stay tuned and be sure to smack that sub button.